What's up everybody, Moritz here from Section Store once again. Today we're going to be having a look at a really nice section. It's this slider right here you can perfectly use for a little header section of your very own Shopify store. You can just operate it through those little tabs down here or it's going to go automatically. So if you click on it, it's going to switch. And this is a little example of a garden store and we're going to try to recreate this whole thing. So. Here you can link to some products or whole collections, but I'd say we just jump right into it. First thing you want to be doing is opening up the Shopify app store and find section store. If you haven't installed it already, you can just easily add it right here. After that, you're going to head back to your Shopify admin area, which I've already opened up right here. And then you want to be looking for section store down here. And then you're going to get to that home area then you want to be clicking on sections where we can simply type in slideshow with a bunch of different slideshows right here so you can just look through it and we always have a little demo version of it so if you click on one of them you can just click on the demo right here but for this tutorial we're going to be having a look at this one i already got the section but in your case it's going to be a one-time purchase of nine dollars there are no reoccurring subscription fees. That means if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever. Not like a lot of apps do it in Shopify, where you just constantly have to pay over and over again. This is a one-time purchase, so I think it's a really good deal. All right, after the successful purchase, we're going to go back to the home area where we can find this section right here. That's where you want to be adding it to your theme you're using for your Shopify store. In my case, it's the Dawn Live theme. So just click on that and it's going to get installed. And after that, you want to open up your theme editor. I already have mine opened up already. So let's just navigate back to the main area. Close this section. Perfect. And the technique to add this section is to go all the way down here, click on Add Section. That's slideshow, but it should appear just right here. And here we have it. This is how the default version looks like. So if you click on one of the little boxes right here, you can decide how long it's going to get autoplayed in seconds. So if you do 10 seconds, you can see that one the whole time. So it's not like a set limit. Um, you can adjust everyone to your liking. We also have an overlay, which I can show you in a second how that works. And the title is changeable as well. So we're going to say garden on this one. Just a little example. I've prepared one for you already. So you can see how it's going to look like with content. So here we have two options. Either you can select the image right here, and it's going to go for mobile and desktop. But if you select the second picture right here, you have like a specific one for mobile. So if you reached a certain breakpoint, it's going to switch to a different image. I'm just going to demonstrate that real quick. So let's just say we pick that photo for the first slide. Should appear in a second. Perfect. And here you can see the overlay as well. So this will override the settings. Overlay is meant with the little dark background you're having right here. So the contrast of the font gets displayed in a better way. Which is going to put it down to zero again. So it's going to take the global setting. And just to show you real quick, if I select a different image right here on mobile, it should give us a different one. So I'm just going to switch to mobile right here. And you should be able to see that we are going to get a different image. Perfect. So much to that. Then there's a bunch of generic stuff you can change as well like the whole block itself. So if we do a new collection out, we just do garden slide. Just that. And we can change the text here as well. This is where the collection magic happens. So you can just click on here and either decide if you want to link a collection page, blog, whatever you prefer. I think collection makes the most sense here. Um, we're just going to go on collection. Select all collections right here. And on the second link, we're also going to pick a collection. In this case, I just have a bunch of random ones, but let's just do summer collection 
doesn't really matter, but you can just choose your collections you have in your store and call that one uh, example. So you can just see it's going to get changed in real time. And yeah, so much to that. Like I said, I already prepared one where I filled it with content. So I'm going to close that one again. So it can show you some more customizations you can do on the whole block. Let's just save it up real quick so we make sure it gets displayed in the right way. Switch back to desktop so we have a bit of a better overview of that whole thing. So you can see, click on Singapore. Singapore one is gonna appear. And now we can also see that the whole thing is operating. Now we're gonna click on the whole block itself. That's where you can do the global settings. So here you can pick the height of the whole section. So we maybe want to have it a little bit less tall. So we just do 800 here. Always make sure to add the PX at the end so it can recognize it actually. And the CSS class can get overridden in the proper way. So now we made it a bit smaller. You can also change it in the mobile, but I'm happy with how it looked like. There you can do a global setting for how long slides should appear. So maybe do six seconds. So it's a bit more chill and people can focus on the lovely pictures we picked right here. The font is changeable, classic stuff like font size of the title. If you wanted to pop a bit more, you can always make that one bigger as you could see right here. I'm not too happy with the font. So I'm just gonna pick a bit more of a classic one. Yeah, that looks quite cool actually. Let's pick that and yeah bunch of more customization options right here regarding the colors of all the fonts. So like said, pretty much everything you see here is changeable. And if you do run into some errors or some limitations, you can always use the custom CSS code where I made a separate video about. You can find it on our channel where you can easily use some pretty nice hacks and tricks to make use of the custom CSS when section store reaches its limits. So just step back to that. Just want to double check again. If I covered everything here of the customization options. Yeah, the section background is changeable as well. And the padding you have on top. So let's just make that a bit bigger. So you can actually see how this is going to look like. So if we scroll up, you should see that there was a little padding applied to the whole thing. Cool. I just say we save it all up so we can have a look at it at the actual live version. Alrighty, here we are back once again. Let's open it up in the live version, which I have done right here already. And here we have the operating section. You can see right here, that's the six second timer reset. And you can also click on the whole thing. So you can easily navigate through the sections like that. And just to give you a quick demonstration, if we click on the shop wall, we're gonna get a little overview of all the sections we're having, collections, sorry for that. And yeah, here then another one where I linked a specific collectioner, but I'll just leave that up to you. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like or a follow. And if there are any questions, I'm always there in the YouTube comment section or drop us a mail, whatever you prefer. And that being said, have a good one and peace out.